Now we're going to move on to the services section of your agreement. Once again, this has to be read against the uh, booking form in order to uh, understand what the two mean. So if you look at section two, it says the booking describes the services. So that booking is in capital B because it's included in the definitions and we'll come on to that in the definitions section, refers to this booking form. So the services are described under section five. If you've already given your client a proposal or they bought a standard package under section five, you can put in C proposal of X date or package number four as set out on the website. But if you haven't, it's really important to identify what services you're going to be providing. If you don't, it's impossible to work out whether personal data will, will be needed, but it's equally impossible to tell whether you've done what you promised you would do. This isn't set in stone. You can add a new booking form later or email to revise. This is just to get you going. Section B talks about the fee in the booking form and you put that in uh, section 11 which I've highlighted in red for you. Now, the services said that you can charge for expenses. So if people are asking you to make phone calls that cost you money or phone-based work or stamps or things like that, and you haven't cost them into your fee, they are additional to the fee set out in section 11. Your quality standards are set out in section six. Now, if you're issuing terms of business, your client will presumably have specified what they want. But it's really important for you and your client to decide how this project is going to be measured. What does success mean? Particularly if you're offering services to someone who's never had a VA before, you will find that they can get increasingly unhappy about what you do without necessarily telling you how they're going to measure success. That doesn't mean there's necessarily anything wrong with what you're doing. It means the brief is in their head and as they change the brief in their head, they get further and further away from your initial conversation. So, if a fast turnaround is important, if everything has to be done within a specific amount of time, this is where you put it. If accuracy is the big thing and it's better it goes slowly, this is where you put it. Think about with your client a few phases that will describe how this will be measured. If you're working for a big sophisticated client, they'll already have key performance indicators and we're not looking for anything as complicated as that. If that's the case, they would have given them to you and you will put in under quality standards, see KPIs attached. But think of something so that when the two of you review at the end of this project, did it turn out right? You can both measure against the same thing. Come into the Coffee Clutch group if that confuses you. People talk about it all the time. It's one of the most difficult areas. And if when you get going, you've got something simple in there, that's absolutely fine. The final thing in services is section D that you will charge extra for travel time to visiting client premises and travel expenses because your base of work is your office or your home, wherever you're normally located. Nothing in this stops you waiving that if you positively decide to do so. But this is the default we've given you because all too often you can forget that if you're visiting a client's premises for the day and it takes you two hours to get there and back again, you will be doing two hours for free if you only charge them for your on-site time. Now that's okay if you both positively agreed that and your rate takes that into account. But if you're charging £20 an hour for five hours, that's £100. But if two of those are spent traveling and you can only charge for three, you are making 60 pounds for five hours. And that is a completely different rate. So this is why your agreements set up the way it is. And in our next section, we will be dealing with the basis of the agreement.